water, but then Kent is far from Nottingham. Near Canterbury is the lazy river Stour, where fishermen have gathered. And if fishing seems a dull sport, even a ridiculous sport to you, then two and a quarter million people in Britain disagree with you. By far, it's the country's most popular pastime, a pastime that can cost up to 50 pounds for equipment alone, and more for the hire of coaches that take anglers to competitions all over the country. To analyze this sport of fishing, let's start where the fishermen start, drawing lots for plots on the bank. Once there, the anglers are subjected to strict rules, one of which could have marital repercussions. It insists that if a husband and wife compete, there must be an unrelated angler in between them. This apparently is not why so many men enjoy the sport. To add strength to fishing's claim of being top in popularity, it's estimated that there are 5,000 clubs in the country. Members include boys, as well as the more mature masters of an art that can use up a whole day and still not produce even a jar full of tiddlers. They're off, even if you'd hardly notice it. Bill Ward, the head water bailiff, has spent years watching competitions like this. Neither he nor anyone can explain that certain something which leads anglers to water. That's a bronze bream that causes the greatest excitement you're likely to see. This is different. This old steamboat is something we admit to being interested in. It has charm. It has an obvious appeal even to landlubbers, chugging its way upstream to upstream. But the steamboat has only interested us. Who else noticed it? Certainly not those squatting anglers who quote an old poem to explain a day spent immobile. And for many a happy hour we spent beside the lazy star. That's the end. Some have caught something, some have caught nothing, some have caught cold. If you feel that the tug of our top sport is unexplained, that's how we feel. Think of it, a whole day is spent dangling a line in shivering water and they don't even notice it's raining. Think of it, a whole day tickling tiddlers and what they've caught they put back. But what of the winner? He's all right, he's the proud receiver of a brand new rod. Now he can start all over again. But first you'll agree, he deserves a fan.